Hello guys, what's up? It's Asif here again. Now, it is going to be the APSC clash for Canon vs Fujifilm. Yes, because Canon is going to release the Canon EOS R7, which will be the substitute or the replacement of the Canon EOS 7D Mark II. Yes, so that means that will be a premium APS-C lens camera, sorry, APS-C camera which will have the RF mount but the APS-C lenses and that will be a premium camera for wildlife and sports photography which will be just great because we are just want that for so many long times and Canon is just providing at this moment so we are just happy and Fujifilm is on the verge to release the Fujifilm X-H2 and the X-H2S. One of them will have a 26 megapixel sensor, one of them will have a 40 megapixel sensor. They can shoot 8K 30p, but that is not the point in this particular video. With these two cameras, they will release three wildlife lenses, 100 to 400 lens, a 600 millimeter prime lens maybe, and a probable 150 to 600 millimeter wildlife lens. Now, if they release that with the Fujifilm X-H2 and the X-H2S, then we have a flagship APS-C camera for wildlife and sports photography at one end, Fujifilm X-H2, X-H2S. And on the other hand, we will have the Canon EOS R7. Then, the competition will be safer because Canon have 20 to 30 or 40 years of experience in this wildlife and sports photography videography arena but Fujifilm will be the new one but Fujifilm can change the game because they did that for so many long years and they are just awesomely great camera for APS so I'm just curious hopeful to see the battle in real life. I am a Fujifilm user and sometimes I also love some extremely wide angle, sorry, extremely telephoto lenses, but on Fujifilm I don't have the luxury to use one or even I don't have the third party support from Sigma, Tamron, Tokina. Yes guys, that is a problem if you are a Fujifilm user and if Fujifilm choose to do this then I think the battle will be safe here and there will be some new innovation to see that will be great and that's basically all I have to say here in this particular video and let me know in the comment section below that will you love the Canon EOS R7 or the Fujifilm X-H2 and the X-H2S that's all guys goodbye have a nice day see you in the next video